special party food, our succulent extra special Norfolk bronze turkey, and our extra special Belgian chocolate and raspberry bomb. That's extra special Christmas food at an Asda price. Asda, saving you money all the way to Christmas. Merry Christmas! Come Dine With Me is getting festive. The pudding is here. So exciting, isn't it? But which of our celebrities will be Christmas number one? That's delicious. Isn't that fantastic? A main I can eat. <laughs> and who will turn out to be the real turkey? They're a little bit limp. They need a little Viagra to have them stand out. Where did they go? Cheers. Yuck. I can't bear white chocolate. <laughs> didn't even swallow it. How do you eat? You're pathetic. Is that an insult again? Oh, oh. <laughs> Watch Celebrity Come Dine With Me and play along live online. Tuesday 8 on 4. Christmas marks. Life Swap USA is at 12.40. First and four, someone's rocking the boat in our first three-minute wonder. You know, I can't think of any, any better way of living, really. This is, it's just amazing. I mean, this is, it's just beautiful. It's fantastic to be living on a boat and in such a small space with my gorgeous uh, husband, Martin, but... Well, I mean, we're on a 70-foot boat and, and this is essentially a garage, I mean... I'll put my hands in the air. I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely not the tidiest of people. Uh, is that important in the grand scheme of things? Every little bit of space counts, so you just have to be a bit anal about it, really. I don't know what she's on about, do you know what I mean? We have got two beach cruisers, which are just, well, they're like motorbikes. They just take up so much space. Yeah, this is what this space is for. It's for bikes and, and stuff. If you see anybody else um, who lives on a boat, they usually have a fold-up fold bike. I don't really see a problem with this at all. He, he just doesn't see it. There's stuff that I see, and he's like, oh, what? What's wrong with it? I mean, what, what does she really want? I mean, um, this space out here would be a gorgeous kind of garden area, and I'd have some pot plants, and I'd have some seats and a table, and we'd be able to sit out here when it's sunny and lovely like it is at the moment. And every year, I think that's going to happen, and I think we're going to do that. And every year, it just turns into a big pile of shit. We live on a boat. I mean, why do why do you want a veranda anyway? I mean, the chattering classes. I mean. We need stuff like this. It lives, it lives out here. We're moving, the boat works. Surely that is the most important part, the boat remaining afloat. Does anybody really have a, have a veranda on a boat? I mean, they've got no veranda, have they? Look at that. They don't need one. I bet he's got a nice shed on there as well. He has records. We have this huge, massive space here. Obviously, uh, compromises had to be arranged and um, then some of the compromises may be a bit lopsided for example um, well, literally in, in the sense with the records because the boat does actually list they're actually weighing the boat down on this side coal that side counterbalances the record anything else that a man might, might need is that side there so the, the problem with this whole argument is you, you know I'm, I'm correct <laughs> and you're a natural cleaner <laughs> and tidier and I'll, I'll leave you to do that, because you seem quite happy to throw everything of mine away. What you mean is that you wouldn't be able to live in such a lovely environment if it wasn't me. That's very true. A smell. So a smell-free floating boat... Yeah. ..is what we achieve. Of wife swap. I'm gonna go and put my feet up. Yeah, go on, you do that. I'll put your mouth up as well. And to say farewell, we've got the best of the series. If you're black, I will have a big problem. I will.